That's my hose connector. I've got a little faucet there and a little Y connector that allows me to decide whether I want to use my little hose that's attached right there and I'm holding right here now. Um, and uh, the other one goes out to the little soaker hose that goes out into the rest of the garden that you'll be seeing at some other point, probably in another video. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. This is the one that goes to the hose. I turn that on. And then I'm going to turn my hose to... Oops. To... Jet. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill... Fill these guys up. These are the little plants, planters that are in these containers. And I just put the hose thing right on there and it goes right in there. And I do that. Oops. And I coordinate both ends. And then I wait until I see it coming out the side. Because that means the bottom is all filled out. I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait. And it's been a very hot day and it hasn't rained. And there goes the water coming out the side. And then, that's the pepper plant. See, it's got some nice little peppers growing on it. They look kind of... Yep, they're growing. They're looking nice. Nice little peppers. And uh, then we go to the tomato plant. I'm not quite sure why this tomato plant happens to be... Oops. We'll do this until it comes out the side. Coming out the side at some point. And then come shooting out the side. The little spout, there's a little hole. As soon as the water comes out of the hole, I know that I have filled the bottom of the container. I found this idea for this container on on YouTube. It's pretty easy to do. I figured it'd be a great pot. And there goes the water. So I fill it all up. It's a really good idea. This pot is kind of neat, but if you don't water it enough, then you get that flower end rot on the bottom of the tomatoes. So I'm not quite sure why I'm doing that, and I have to get rid of that little leaf there. I gotta do some pruning and stuff, but there's lots and lots and lots and lots of tomatoes on here. And I never planted these kinds of tomatoes. I believe there's San Bernardino's or something. I planted cherries and heirlooms. Heaven knows how these grew like this, because I never planted them. And these are plants that I put in here as seedlings. I knew they were tomato seedlings, but lots of little flowers. It's been so hot, I haven't really had any good um, bees out. I heard there's a bee problem this year. So they're not pollinating really well. So I'm just gonna, my little lemon, herb, a sage, um, that's Louisa in Hebrew, that's Malva, desert sage, and I believe that's sweet marjoram, and rosemary, English mint, this is my peppermint, not doing very well, but I'm working on trying to learn how to do that. Here's my garlic, chives, and that's my, I believe that's my uh, lemon thyme. And uh, this thing is just a, yes, it's a weed tomato, but yeah, it uh, decided to grow and I don't like to kill anything. I figure that if it's growing, it's supposed to be growing. So, and I will shut this off right now. And there's another tomato plant over there. So I'm just going to empty this out until the hose is empty. But hang it up, handy dandy hang up spot underneath the porch. It's at our kitchen, so it's kind of neat. There's the porch, and there's a the little hang up thing, the hose hanger. It's kind of neat. And, um, 
I planted this cucumber um, beginning of May. It's grown up. Every time I pull a cucumber, I get another one. There it is, and I've trained it up all the way up here, and it went up to the top here to the overshadowing of my roof. So I pulled it over, and I said, "Okay, go this way." And so there's lots and lots of cucumbers growing. And it's just going across, and it's going across. And I'm trying to train it to go on to this part over here, to go across all the way to there. We shall see what happens with it. But uh, that's the cucumber, one of them. And uh, stay tuned. Next time I'll show you a little bit more of my garden. I'm not the greatest, but hey, it's my second year. So stay tuned for another one of more views. I even have some sweet potatoes growing in my backyard.